Well, all right. Well, all right. It's for static. I'm focused. I got clientele. I got clientele. I got clientele. Started my own business. Got no time for jail. And I'm trying to show food like a yacht for sale. So what's up, man? What up, though, man? What's your name, man? Where you from, bro? King Kerrick, man. Straight out of Inkster, man. You know, 94 West Global. Whole shebang, man. NBC. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. So what got you started doing the whole 94 West Global? Uh, just, you know, just uh, me, like, developing myself, you know, just... Taking one thing at a time, like I was producing, I was rapping, I was doing a whole lot of different things, and then just finally, you know, this just what culminated after, you know, all the all the time of me putting into the music and all the time of me just, you know, doing my thing, just trying to find different ways to make money, different ways to, you know, get my brand out there and shit. So it just it just happened like this. Okay, okay, that's what's up, man. And so you ever thought about like filming any bigger projects, movies or anything of that type? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I actually want to do like three movies this year, but you know, I'm always writing. I'm always just, you know, reading different books, trying to, you know, just expand my horizons and shit. So, you know, that's definitely a possibility in the future. Right, and so you write them yourself too? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually wrote my first movie shit with your ass back in uh, motherfucking <laughs> high school and shit. We wrote when we had wrote the uh, for the low movie, and ever since then it just been like just writing, just been you know just like therapeutic. You know what I'm saying? So I always try to just write a little bit as much as I can just to keep myself sharp, man. Like I take like some short stories and just try to see what I can make out of them and shit. I'm with it. I'm with it, bro. And so. All right, I got to ask you about this, man, because it recently kind of like ruffled a lot of feathers and a lot of people was kind of upset. What's, what was up with your top five list? Like, what made you even make put it out? Like, uh, well, well one thing I want to get clear, man, it's not an all-time list. It's not an all-time inkster all-time. It was just from summer, from summer and fall 16, you know what I'm saying? Those was the best, but... Where it came from, it was, uh, cause Lil Boosie was in Romulus not too long ago, and he was, uh, at Keggers talking to people, and one of my homegirls asked him, like, uh, no, he asked one of my homegirls, like, who was the hottest, you know, rapper out of Inkster and shit, and she didn't really know who to say, so she called me, and, you know, I'm thinking about it, you know, so it just started as a thought, and I seen a couple other people putting their top fives out there, so, you know, I just, I just took, you know, cause I'm, I'm really with the artists, and I really listen to the fans, and to, to the people who who coming to me and saying yeah you need to get more of him or yeah this nigga his shit cold you need to be paying attention to him you know what I'm saying so I felt like my opinion is something that would have been value you know especially in the top five list like that but when I did it I got a lot of backlash you know what I'm saying like because a lot of people felt like my list was tainted you know what I'm saying my list was uh I want to give everybody a shout off that's in my top five because they got a lot of slack along with me so my top five was was L.O. and Rambo, shout out to my nigga, my nigga BJ was Why number two on the list, my nigga um, Gutter, Gutter came in at number three, and then uh, Jay Reed, who was one of my favorite artists, artists I've been working with for a long time, and uh, last was Relly, and my sixth man, I believe, was 4841 Vogue. <laughs> and so, and so who we who we in the booth with right now? What's up right now, man? You ready, man? Yeah. Right now with my nigga Chill. Hey, how you doing? My nigga Leo, my hard head niggas in this bitch, man. <laughs> okay, and so in in five years, do you see yourself like somewhere specifically, or have a specific vision for where you want to be? I, I can't even lie, man. I don't, man. I, uh, 
I really try to take it one day at a time with this shit, man, because there's really no telling, especially in the situation that I'm in, because, you know, I, I'm, I do a lot of different shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just, you know, a cameraman. I, I got a camera. My, my business is a full-time business. I got to keep running. You know, who knows if I sell that in the upcoming years. You know, I still make beats. I'm still a producer. You know, I still love music. So it's just really no telling, you know, where, where life can take me. So five years is like, that's like a hard, you know, thing to really say, because shit, if you would have asked me last, year if I was gonna be doing this I wouldn't have been able to tell you shit you know what I'm saying because it's just some some random shit you know what I'm saying just just I don't know just really going with the flow uh, have you done any music videos or anything like that yet uh, yeah I did uh, man I, I done a video with shit me and them, we, we, shit, they ain't brought me in all the time. I be having so much fun with these niggas, bro. They took me, uh, motherfucker. We, first time we did a video, I think we went to, uh, La Hookah. Was it La Hookah? We went to La Hookah. Yeah. yeah, we went there, but shit. Just like official videos, I've been doing like a lot of promo videos, like for my nigga Tiz and shit. Uh, my RNA niggas. Like, it's all there. It's all on 94 West. You just go to 94 West. I got, uh, the LOM doing the right video that just it just hit 20,000 views uh, the K money bankroll video just hit 10,000 views I just did one with pills you know but you know I'm, I'm looking I'm actually looking for a new cameraman right now to shoot my videos you know cuz I, I think I'm good at it but that's not my calling that's not my talent I think it's real people who out here who are really talented and it's just you know wizards with the motherfucking editing shit you know what I'm saying cuz I'm nice with it but you know, I know it's all, I always gotta keep adding stuff to, you know, keep myself ahead. So, I'm actually looking for a new cameraman. So, if you know anybody who, who just trying to get a little more spotlight on their videos, point them in my direction. And how can they contact you if they watching this one? 94 westglobal at gmail.com. There it is. You heard it here first, man. So, what do you see for the surrounding area as far as, like, uh, the culture and everything that's getting built up around here. Like, do you see things moving forward and being on that level eventually where the city kind of is? Definitely, definitely. If, uh, it's all about unity, though, because even though, uh, like, Detroit, it gets the most, it gets the most shine out of the state of Michigan. But if you if you look around, you really try, if you really like pinpoint where everybody from and shit, you look at places like Ipsy and places like Inkster and places like motherfucking Taylor. It's a lot of talent out here, you know what I'm saying? Like DDS who was working with Dave Lofi from Ipsy. Polo Frost just got a deal. Uh, shit, Nisha Nache just got a deal. It's, it's a lot going on in Ipsy and people don't understand that that's like a melting pot, you know what I'm saying? There's two different schools down there. It's uh, U of M and then Eastern and then they downtown area is just perfect for the whole music scene because they, they got businesses who promote the local music scene, you know what I'm saying? They let the artists make money in their venues and shit. So it's just it's just a lot of different ways that you can really go about this shit. You know, it's uh, like out here, man. It's just it's, it's, the possibilities really endless. We just don't got that that market. You know what I'm saying? We don't got that unity that we need. That platform. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But shit, hopefully within the upcoming months, you know, we open a lot of people's eyes to what we doing out here. And, you know, show them that it's more than just one city in Michigan. I'm with it, I'm with it, man. That was a good way to put it, bro. And so, what projects uh, do you and the camp have coming up soon? Uh, Leo, what y'all got? Y'all got the album coming, mixtape? Shit, I got a few songs dropping. <clears throat> right now, I got uh, Choices featuring uh, Deuce Time. It's out right now. Uh, we just did a video to that, so a video coming soon. Uh, so we just dropping music, dropping music videos every week, man. Trying to drop a song every week. Like I said before, bro, it's gonna take all of us. It's not gonna be just one person or one team that come out here and be able to make a difference. It's gonna take some some friendly competition within the city, within everybody, you know. So just make sure that we keep it friendly, we keep it competitive though at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So just you know, be on the lookout for bigger things coming. There it is, man. Left the crib broken, I came back with